Hey Astro Kids and welcome back. So today we're going to talk about what it looks like to have a Mars Mahadasha. So this is a short little clip from my course on Vedic Astrology. For those of you who are interested in this time period, what lessons you can learn, what things could possibly affect you depending on if Mars is good or bad in your natal chart. So if you enjoy this, feel free to leave a like as well as a comment. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new content. And if any of you are interested in this course, there is a link down below in the description along with the comments. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. This is a seven year period of a Mars Mahadasha. Now this tends to be a very difficult Mahadasha. And the reason being is because what is Mars about? Aggression, drive, energy, determination. So all of these things become heightened during a Mars Mahadasha. Now again, you wanna look at where is Mars position? Where is Aries? Where is the Lord of the house that Mars is in? What sign is it in? All of these things are going to show you, are you in a good Mahadasha period? Are you not in a good Mahadasha period? Now, also, some of the favorable positions for this Mahadasha are if your moon is natally in a Kendra house. Again, that is that first, fourth, seventh, and tenth house. Or if it is in the 11th house, again, Mars tends to function very well in that 11th house. Also, if it is in a friend sign, if it is at home, or if it is exalted in the sign of Capricorn. Now, another factor, though, when we're looking at how Mars is affecting us is we want to look at where Saturn is. Because Saturn is always in the shadow of Mars. And so what we say in astrology is that Saturn is the only planet that can contain Mars, right? Saturn is the only planet that can give Mars a sense of structure and discipline because Mars, again, has all of this energy and drive where it's very impulsive. So sometimes we need Saturn to step in and to help contain all of that Martian influence. Now, if Mars is in the second or third house, it tends to give mixed results. If it is in the 6th house, 8th house, or 12th house, it tends to give bad results. And in this case, there is no exception to that. Mars is a malefic influence. It is automatically a functioning malefic. Now, the themes of a Mars Mahadasha tends to be a focus on purpose. So again, similar to the Sun Mahadasha, we tend to be focused on our career, our life purpose, all of these things. So anything that you didn't complete or that was left behind during that Sun Mahadasha, you get a second chance to look at these things in the Mars Mahadasha. Also, though, a lot of things that are happening within the Mars Mahadasha tend to be very sudden and unexpected. Because again, the energy of Mars is very quick and passionate, where it's very direct. And so Typically, what we can see a lot of times during a Mars Mahadasha is you can get sudden opportunities. Out of nowhere, you could get a job promotion, right? You could even get a job promotion where you don't even have to do an interview. They just call you up and they want you to make a quick decision. You see this a lot during a Mars Mahadasha. Mars is really going to help end any kind of procrastination or anything that you have put on hold. So Mars is ready to go. It's energized. It wants you to take quick action. That is the theme of this particular Mahadasha. Sometimes you can see home changes where there will actually be shocking events or disturbances in the home and you have to leave and move to a new home. Sometimes, again, you'll see some quick job opportunities that take you to a new location. All of these things can happen during a Mars Mahadasha. Now, as far as the auspicious placements of Mars, 
this might be a time where your courage is increased, right? You can feel more confident. You are more well put together, more ready to take on opportunities. You can be more risk-taking during this particular Mars Mahadasha. Now, of course, this can become a conflict if you have a difficult place Mars because you can take too many risks and you can get into accidents and put yourself into sticky situations. So this is a period where I don't encourage people to take risks, even though Mars is going to influence you to take a risk. Now, during this period, you, again, may see that you have a quick influence on your status, where all of a sudden you rise up the ranks or you are quickly put into a situation where you get a new job opportunity, you get a new promotion, and it comes all of a sudden out of nowhere. You can also get a wealth increase out of nowhere. So maybe you don't expect that you are getting a promotion or a increase, and all of a sudden your boss is giving you this out of nowhere. You can also get a quick marriage out of nowhere, where all of a sudden you're getting engaged and you are getting married on the same day. This can happen. Also, within your own relationships, you can have intense passion where there's a lot of sexual energy, there's a lot of passion where you want to try new things, you want to have more change, more adventure within your relationships also. If your Mars is badly positioned, this can be a time where your anger and aggression can increase. You can make hasty decisions some people also get involved in violence during this time where you can make wrong, impulsive, risky decisions. You can act out during this time. Your fear, your anxiety can increase during this time. You can see some conflicts and power struggles with authority during this time. So similar to the sun, where if Mars is not in a good position, there can be a lot of power struggles and arguments and conflicts that arise, particularly with authority figures. You can also have health ailments all of a sudden out of nowhere. Again, this Martian energy is very quick, very spontaneous. And so all of a sudden you can get high fever. You can get into situations where you need a surgery, into accidents, all of these things. You can even suffer from health deficiencies during this time because Mars is a very fiery planet. It burns everything up. And so you always want to make sure during a Mars Mahadasha that your health is in check. You can have deficiencies in particular minerals and vitamins that you need. This also can be a time where you make wrong hasty decisions or you get into arguments with a boss. All of these types of things where you end up losing your job. You can lose your income, right? You can actually get into divorces and separations at this time. Mars is actually the planet that signifies separation and surgery. So this can actually provoke a divorce or an end of a friendship during this particular time. Now some of the remedies of a Mars Mahadasha would be helping others, protecting others, right? Mars is also a planet of protection. Remember that Mars is the ruler of Scorpio, which is all about secrets and protection. And so during this time, particularly if you are a police officer, if you are in the military, this is going to tend to give you good results. If you're protecting your loved ones, if you're helping out your family with any sort of issues or conflicts that arise, all of these things are going to give you good results. Also being vegetarian tends to give good results. Mars is a very violent and aggressive planet. And so it's tend to not be advised in terms of killing living flesh. So eating meat, particularly every day, tends to give problems during a Mars Mahadasha. And again, that is something that is by choice. So this is not something for everyone, right? Some of you out there are going to need to eat meat according to your diets. But there are other remedies here. Also, though, one of the big things that can cause some conflicts in your life during a Mars Mahadasha is something that you typically wouldn't even think of as causing an issue is killing a small insect. 
that can actually bring negative results, particularly if you have Mars in a bad position. But also doing things that can calm down your anger, meditation, finding some inner peace and quiet, all of these things, even doing some active sports, for example, doing some martial arts to get your anger and aggression out. All of these things can help during a Mars Mahadasha. The best time for a Mars Mahadasha tends to be in your 30s. The reason being is because we say in astrology that around the age of 30 is when one has matured. So typically during your 30s is when you can handle all of these accidents and conflicts. And of course, as you get older and you move more into your 50s, 60s, it becomes more difficult to handle accidents. So 30s tends to be the sweet spot for a Mars Mahadasha. And again, there are remedies if you are not 30 and you have your Mars Mahadasha. So this does not mean that this is the end of the world if you have this happening at a different age. Right? We all have these Mahadashas happening at various different ages in our life. Mm -hmm.